Good morning, Miss Montaigne. Good What's morning. going on here today? So what we have in the morning is when our students come, they get the opportunity to choose from 7.20 once they enter the building all the way until 8 o'clock an activity that meets their, their needs and their choice in the morning. So right now we have our outside open and this is our K-1 uh, playground and the students get to come out here and choose what they would like to do. As you see, our swings are full and then our coaches set up some great activities out here on the uh, the area of the play field and so kids come out and they get to get some extra energy out in the morning and then they are ready to learn when they get into the classroom. So it's almost like they get an extra 40 minutes of playtime recess yep, in the we morning. Yep, we have some That's intentional really things set up around the building to meet their needs. Some kids might want to go and just sit and read. Some kids might want to code. Some kids want to come and get some energy out. So we have something called the Unifiers here at Larkspur. And so this is a group of teachers that are coming together and thinking about how can we make sure that all of our students feel included and how can we ensure that we're building friendships here at Larkspur because we believe it's a family. So our buddy box is something that our teachers created to help students find a buddy, to find a friend if they're not feeling so courageous to go over and say, hey, do you want to play with me? They can come to a buddy box, kids see them, they come over, they come and start having a conversation together and then they go out and play. So it's just another way to feel inclusive, to have kids um, come together and to really uh, get to know one another. So here's another option for zero hour. Our kids get to choose art. So we're gonna go check out a few things that our kids get um, an opportunity to do if they choose our art room. It's a rainbow cookie. Oh my goodness, do you make rainbow cookies? Do you like to eat rainbow cookies? All right, bud, what's your building? Um, a squid. Squid? Mm -hmm. Nice, I like it. So in here, what we have going on also during zero hour in some of our special education classrooms is we have what's called reverse inclusion. And so we have some student leaders from our general education classrooms have signed up to come and partner with some of our special education students in the morning. And so they have come up with uh, three different rooms of choice. And so here's one of our rooms of choice. Hey, Catherine, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What do you do during zero hour? What are you doing right now? I'm doing safety patrol. And what are, what are you do during Safety Patrol today? Today I'm checking out people's books. That is awesome. How much do you like it? A lot. Woo! What are y'all working on today? Um, we're making a giant ship. Oh, a giant ship? And I'm going to mm -hmm. a cube. A giant cube? That's and awesome. we've only got a couple pieces. You only have a couple pieces? Oh, you want to hold that? You want to tell yeah. me what you got going on today? Yay! Oh. <laughs> Hi, good morning! I'm Miss Y. I'm Miss Hessen and we're the No Place for Hate school sponsors. This is part of our No Place for Hate uh, student coalition we call the Unifiers. And um, they're just here greeting people this morning for zero hour. So do you have the No Place for Hate groups in every, at every grade level or did the fourth and fifth graders go over to talk to the uh, other grades about No Place for Hate? So we try to um, include everybody, but we definitely try to, um, we, we really discuss this as a adult coalition, the No Place for Hate coalition for us. We're the diversity, equity, and inclusion team. They're also called the Unifiers. And we decided as a committee to go ahead and keep it to fourth and fifth grade. Okay. But then they trickle down and help the little ones. We're most, mostly in the community, in the in the building, you know, wherever. And, you know, total transparency, we are definitely still growing as a team. We've had a couple of meetings. We have another one that's coming uh, Monday. And we are going to decide yet still some of the things that we're going to do to um, kind of coincide with the little ones. I do know also that one of our two of our fifth grade classrooms also come down to the kinder classrooms and they do buddy reading like on bullying and stuff like that so that's another thing that we're doing so just a little bit of everything. It helps people that are getting bullied like uh, feel helped and not lonely anymore and it helps them find friends. Um, it also helps people feel welcome in the school. It definitely helps our community and helping for uh, uh, to stop bullying so that uh, the school and our whole entire uh, Leander district can get better of no bullying.